I know you have a lot of questions about the Delta variant of COVID-19. What does that mean for you, your family, your children? I'll tell you what we know, what we think we know, and what we still need to learn. So the Delta variant is one of several variants. And right now, this Delta variant definitely appears to be significantly more transmissible. And there is a suggestion that it may be causing more severe illness as well. Number one, children 12 years of age and older are eligible for the existing and authorized vaccines in the United States. If you look at children who are unvaccinated of any age, and certainly in the pediatric age group of children under the age of 12, we are seeing dramatic increase in the number of pediatric cases of COVID-19 for which the majority, 80 to 90 percent, are thought to be the Delta variant. It is unclear at this point if the pediatric age group is more susceptible to the Delta variant or if this is just the Delta variant doing its thing and attacking the most vulnerable population, which is, in this case, unvaccinated children under the age of 12. Well, the American Academy of Pediatrics in terms of face masks are recommending that children two years of age and older wear face masks in school settings because there are dramatic increasing numbers of COVID-19 diseases drawn largely off the power and increased transmissibility of the Delta variant. Again, risk benefit, there is very little risk of recommending children uh, of this age group wearing a face covering. And we have seen the impact, positive impact of benefits in reducing transmission and infection rates. One more reason why adults who are around children, particularly under the age of 12, should be vaccinated, it offers another way of protecting those children. But when you look at the recommendations from the CDC and the American Academy of Pediatrics for how to protect or put a bubble uh, around this vulnerable age group, what they're talking about is something called a layered approach. So what does that mean? masking, distancing, uh, ventilation, hand hygiene, uh, using pods or smaller groups so that you know your the group of exposure that these children face is smaller rather than bigger. So I think when parents ask themselves, is something dot 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 safe, there are a certain number of uh, factors that I think are helpful in that consideration. Time, space, people, place, vaccination status, and mask wearing. Uh, when you take into account those parameters, that can help you stratify risk. It is critically important to understand that the goal of these vaccines is to save lives and reduce the risk of hospitalizations. And right now, that is the most critical step we can all take, not just to protect ourselves, but children under the age of 12 who cannot be vaccinated, who are very vulnerable, and people who have underlying or pre-existing medical conditions. These vaccines have been proven to be safe and effective even amongst the Delta variant. And that Delta variant is causing some major problems here in the US and around the world. And right now that is the best tool we have. So not to use it um, would be a tremendous missed opportunity.